It looks like we have one of the first games that's been optimized for Ryzen, and actually, they're not even done yet. Stay tuned. I had a completely different video planned for tonight, but had to scrap it when seeing a couple articles from Tom's Hardware and PC World. I originally saw Tom's Hardware article first, but luckily PC World gave me a couple extra views on it, and really it seems others have chimed in on theirs as well. I so wanted to get it to all of you sooner, but alas, I do have a day job. If you like what you see, don't forget to subscribe though. It helps the channel and helps me bring you more daily content. So let's get right into it. Stardock and Oxide Games let some tech sites have a look at a new beta build for their upcoming Ashes of Singularity Escalation update. For those who don't know, the original Ashes of the Singularity was one of the games that Ryzen's performance was quite lacking when compared to Intel. The standalone expansion is very similar with more units, etc. Well, in the new beta tested, Ryzen got a huge boost in performance. Apparently AMD wasn't joking when they said they were working with game developers to optimize for their platform. Okay. There's a lot of numbers and some confusing information coming out, but before I get into that, AMD stated in their testing that Ryzen saw a 26% boost in large batches of average FPS to a maximum of 33% in normal batches of average FPS, with them all averaging out to a 31% increase compared to testing with the previous version of the game. They stated the 1800X would, quote, still be a bit behind the 7700K and 6900K in testing. After a fairly compact optimization effort, we now see much closer FPS. So what did they find out in their testing? Tom's hardware had some unusual methodologies, but really it seems they received the update with very little time for in-depth testing. The configuration they used came from their 1700X review. This means they had Ryzen's RAM running at 2666, and they also stated all their processors were running at stock performance and used the crazy settings for the game. AMD was running their tests with 2933 memory and used the high preset. Ryzen didn't get the 31% boost in overall frame, but that's almost certainly due to the use of the crazy preset, which makes the GPU more of the bottleneck. Either way, it still got a 16% boost in performance and actually saw it beat out Intel 7700K, although by only one frame. But the main thing I want to focus on is actually PC Worlds, because theirs were closer to AMD's results, and no, it's not because it makes AMD look better, or Intel look better, or however you want to look at it, but because PC Worlds seems to be more CPU-focused benchmarks rather than the GPU being the bottleneck. PC World used 16GB of 2933 in their tests, but I'm assuming they didn't use the crazy preset since their FPS was quite a bit higher. I'm not sure what GPU Tom's hardware used, but PC World was on a 1080. In their testing, Ryzen received a 20-28% to boost in performance, which, wow, that's fantastic. The more heavily CPU-bound benchmarks showed a lesser improvement, but it was still impressive. One weird thing PC World said was that Intel would be looking more like 92 FPS versus Ryzen's nearly 72 with the same test. I honestly don't get where they got that from. Their only other test they did with Ryzen was the original Ashes of the Singularity, and the disparity is roughly the same. They're quoting here at 32 FPS with Ryzen and the 7700K at 38 FPS, although they did mention that this was the more CPU-bound difference, but then they're comparing it to the less CPU-bound difference. I'm just not really sure where they came up with that. But here's the thing. Oxide's Dan Baker made a very telling statement to PC World. He says, and I quote, We've invested thousands of hours tuning Intel CPUs to get every last bit of performance out of them, but comparatively, little time so far on Ryzen. He then goes on to tell them that they wanted the beta out to the world to show Ryzen's potential, which means there should be even more advancements yet to come. Bethesda has also stated that they're partnered with AMD and working on optimizations, etc. So what does all this mean? Well, for one, there clearly is room for improvement from developers. Tom's hardware noted the download was very small, which makes it pretty clear it was nothing but code changes. But of course, as happy as I am to bring this to all of you who I know want to hear it, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It certainly shows there's massive potential, but more tests definitely need to be done. Overclocking could go either way depending on how it scales. We also need more information on methodology. I, I don't even know for sure if PC World overclocked, though Tom's Hardware actually did say that they did not. But of course, this seems to have been sprung on everyone, so it's understandable for now. 
Also, Ryzen is falling short comparatively, but these gains seem to just be the beginning. Of course, Ashes of Singularity was very much made for more heavily threaded processes, but don't take this the wrong way. I just don't want everyone getting too hyped, only to be disappointed. And I'm not saying you will be disappointed. I'm certainly excited. It's just great news. It's great news for everyone, Intel and AMD fans alike. And these are just games being optimized for Ryzen. Imagine a game being built from the ground up to work with it. Baker even went as far as to say, quote, AMD Ryzen brings resources to the table that will change what people will come to expect from a PC gaming experience. Those are some bold words. So what do you think of this news? Are you pumped to see the future potential of Ryzen? What game do you want to see optimized next? That does it for now. If you liked the video, don't forget to subscribe by clicking on the round icon in the middle. You can check out the most recent video and suggested video to the left. Thanks so much for coming, and as always, have a great day.